Uruguayan Air Force Survival The story of Uruguayan Air Force Flight 571, also known as the Andes Flight Disaster or the Miracle of the Andes, is a remarkable tale of survival and resilience. The rugby team, called the Old Christians Club, was travelling to Santiago, Chile, to participate in a match. The plane, a Fairchild FH227D, encountered severe weather conditions and crashed on October 13, 1972. Twelve people died in the initial impact, and several others succumbed to injuries and extreme cold over the next few days. The survivors found themselves stranded at an altitude of 3,600 meters, 11,800 feet in a desolate, snow-covered mountain range with little food, inadequate clothing, and no means of communication. As days turned into weeks, the situation became dire. They faced freezing temperatures, avalanches, and the constant threat of starvation. After more than a week, the survivors received word from a transistor radio that the search for them had been called off, as the wreckage of the plane had not been found. With no hope of imminent rescue, the survivors were forced to confront the harsh reality of their situation. In a desperate attempt to stay alive, they resorted to cannibalism. They rationed the little food they had, which consisted of small amounts of chocolate, wine, and the flesh of deceased passengers. This unimaginable decision was made to sustain their strength and increase their chances of survival. After 72 days, two of the survivors, Nando Parado and Roberto Canessa, decided to embark on a treacherous journey to find help. Armed with little more than a crude map and sheer determination, they hiked through the mountains for over 10 days, enduring extreme cold and hunger. Finally, on December 20, 1972, Parado and Canessa stumbled upon a Chilean shepherd who alerted authorities, leading to the rescue of the remaining survivors. Of the 45 people aboard the plane, only 16 survived. Their story captivated the world and became an example of human resilience and the will to survive against all odds. It inspired books, documentaries and movies most notably the 1993 film Alive, based on survivor peers Paul Reed's book of the same name. The story of Uruguayan Air Force Flight 571 serves as a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the lengths people can go to endure. In the face of extreme adversity,